Does a college program that offers you the chance to work on an industry-scale oil refinery sound like something you want to get your hands on? Well, process technology programs, like the one you're about to see, get students learning and working in the real world. Remember this, because it's going to be on a quiz somewhere. Grease is an oil with an additive. This is the same type of equipment that you see in refineries and chemical plants. Process technology is taking material and turning it into something useful. For instance, oil into gasoline, uh, petrochemicals into fibers for rugs, pharmaceuticals, even taking barley and malt and turn it into beer. You see this jar over here with the red material in it? That's a mixture of alcohol and water. Well, alcohol and water have different boiling points. CAPT is the Center for Advancement of Process Technology. We are a consortium of 55 partner colleges in industry. The alcohol is a low temperature boiler, so it's going to go to the top and vaporize. The what we've done is we've sat down face to face with industry, and they said, we need students to do the following. And they gave us a, a giant list of they need to do A, they need to do B, they need to do C. Here's what we want them to do. Then we developed our curriculum, our textbooks, our instructor guides, our online courses around that so that when the student takes a capped course, industry is getting just what they want. Condenses those vapors back into a liquid. We have roughly 500 students in the program, a very high employment rate, 90 to 95 percent of our students get jobs coming out of this. Should we add more feet to the column? It's almost difficult to keep them in. Some companies actually like to come in and rate our students and get them before the degrees. Well, you're on top of it today. I'd hire you as an operator. <laughs> it's basically the baby boomers are getting old and retiring and the companies are looking for new employees to come in and take over those jobs. Are y'all going to gradually go up or y'all just going to stay at 15? A typical student is uh, 27 years old, has been out of high school for roughly 10 or 11 years. Most of them are hands-on type students. They like to work with the equipment and that's exactly what the companies are looking for. These are not really desk jobs. They're out in the cold and the heat, but they also have to learn how to work with people because working with the machinery is only a small part of what they do. And that's coming from our steam. So when we give them an education here, we're teaching them psychology and sociology and speech and English. So the companies get, again, a very well-rounded person out there. We have one of the largest programs in the country, if not the largest program in the country. And we are one of the only colleges in the country that actually has a unit like this. We make the students run this thing. We run it for them the first time, and then we never touch it again after that. You, know, you can't imagine how many times I told myself, I wish I had been able to do this in college. Because I had lots of theory, but I had no practical type of thing. This is all practical application. It would have made me a better engineer off the start if I could have done that. Most of my students, they're either working like all night and coming to school during the day. They're working at jobs that pay eight to ten dollars an hour, and all of a sudden they get a job that pays thirty dollars an hour and has medical insurance and a 401k and life insurance and dental insurance. It changes their life. You can't imagine. And a lot of us like to say we're really in the life-changing business. We're not in the education business. With College of the Mainland's commitment to teaching students the technical skills that the industry needs, the graduates of that program are headed towards rewarding careers as process technicians.